What's up guys? Welcome back to Joe Vester Trades. My name is Joseph and in today's video I'll be going over why you should be buying Square right now. I'll take you guys through the charts, show you exactly what I'm, what I'm looking at and why this can be a good swing trade. If you want to enjoy the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more trading content. And if you want to be a part of a trading community with over a thousand members make sure to check out the discord channel in the description down below so now that we have square pulled up on the charts i'll show you guys exactly what i'm looking for and why i think this can be a good swing trade i'll show i will also show you my stop loss and my profit taking areas so the first thing i noticed with square is that they are respecting their support line and as you can see they have support right around $215. And right here, it was acting as resistance. But once they broke above, they retested it and bounced off that area pretty nicely right here. And also right here, you can see they bounced off that area again. And then right over here on January 22nd and after hours, we can see that they tested this line and continued to trade higher on Friday. So that's the first thing I notice when I'm looking for my swing trades. I always like to mark out my support areas. Then the next thing I notice is that the MACD is curling up. And this kind of shows you that the momentum in the market is shifting towards the buyers. So this makes this stock very attractive and kind of gives me an idea of if the stock will trade higher. And then the final thing that I also notice is that Square is also respecting their 200 SMA. And if we zoom out, we can see right around here, Square is trading at their 200 SMA. They didn't really quite fall under it. And if they did, they quickly reversed back in the upward direction. And same thing around here. So those are the few reasons why I think Square can be a good swing trade. So if you plan on buying shares or call options for Square, here is where I would set my stop loss. I would set it right underneath this support line. So if Square falls underneath the support line, I would be out of my position. But where I would take my profits are right around 235. And the last place I'd ride my shares or options to is right around all time highs. So if you plan on playing this, I would plan on writing your, your shares or call options to this 235 level and then start to take partials. And then I would let one or two ride to test their all time high. And this is why I think Square can be a decent swing trade. You can see the setup here. They bounce right off the support line and can definitely continue higher as the momentum is shifting up and the RSI was previously undervalued. And as you guys know, earnings season is around and er Square doesn't have earnings for a little bit until next month. So I can definitely see Square retesting their all time highs before earnings. So you don't have to risk swinging through earnings as well. As you can see, Square is at an attractive price right now, and this can be a great swing trade. Let me know if you guys are going to play this yourself in the comment section down below. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more trading content.